now you know what are intersecting lines so let us look at the picture of a spider's web these thin threads of web represent intersecting lines which intersect one another at this point can you see this line it cuts these intersecting lines of the web at these distinct points this line represents a transversal so you can see so many intersecting lines and transversals in a spider's web you can see use of this geometrical concept of intersecting lines cut by a transversal in our day to day life for various purposes look at this picture of intersecting white lines marked on the road a flag a bridge you can see how the intersecting lines and transversal are used for construction purpose here let us understand more clearly what is a transversal and what happens when it cuts two intersecting lines with the help of two straws as you can see the two straws here represent two intersecting lines line l and line m whereas this line t cuts these two intersecting lines at these two distinct points point a and point b now we can say that this transversal is a line which intersects two or more given lines at distinct points when the transversal t cuts two intersecting lines line l and line m first angle gets formed between this and this line second angle gets formed here third angle gets formed here fourth angle gets formed here similarly fifth angle gets formed here sixth angle here seventh angle here and the eighth angle gets formed here so as you can see when a transversal t cuts two intersecting lines line l and line m eight angles are formed four angles at the intersection point a and four angles at intersection point b let us see what happens to the measures of these angles if we change the positions of the intersecting lines line l and line m if we change the position of this intersecting line line l we can see that the measures of angle 1 and angle 3 are more whereas measures of angle 2 and 4 are less similarly if we change the position of this intersecting line line m we can see the change in the measures of angle 5 6 7 and 8 now what if we change the position of the transversal t we can see that there is a change in the measures of angles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so we can say that when a transversal intersects two intersecting lines eight angles are formed and the measure of each angle changes as per the change in the position of intersecting lines or transversal or both we have seen that we find many examples of the concept of a transversal cutting two intersecting lines in the nature around us do we find examples of a transversal cutting two parallel lines in the nature look at this picture of tree trunks these tree trunks represent approximately straight parallel lines cut by another tree trunk which represents a transversal on this leaf there are multiple parallel lines represented by leaf veins which are cut by the main vein 
representing a transversal. Another similar example where so many tree trunks represent multiple parallel lines and are cut by many branches representing multiple transversals. You can see that we have made the purposeful use of this geometrical concept of parallel lines cut by a transversal in our day to day life also. Look at this picture. The train runs on the track without its wheels colliding with each other. If you look at these pictures, you can see the use of parallel lines and the transversal for the purpose of construction. Look at the artistic use of parallel lines cut by transversal on the fabric and in the Rangoli's design. So, we find many applications of geometrical concept of parallel lines cut by a transversal all around us in our day to day life. Let us understand this concept more clearly with the help of two straws. As you can see, the two straws here represent two parallel lines, line L and line M, whereas this line T cuts these two parallel lines, line L and line M at these two distinct points, point A and point B. This line T is called as transversal. We have already seen how eight angles are formed when a transversal cuts two intersecting lines. Let us see what happens when this transversal T cuts two parallel lines, line L and line M. So, as you can see, when a transversal T cuts two parallel lines, line L and line M, eight angles are formed. Four angles at the intersection point A and four angles at intersection point B. Let us see what happens to the measures of these angles if we change the position of the transversal T. Now we can see that the measure of angle 1 is lesser whereas measure of angle 2 is more. Similarly, we can see the change in the measures of remaining angles angle 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now we can say that when a transversal intersects two parallel lines, eight angles are formed and the measure of each angle changes as per the change in the position of the transversal as shown. Thank you.